LG lies about HDMI 2.1 support, and they're seemingly above the law. There's zero accountability right now. We see a lot of the mainstream reporters that have been getting VIP treatment from LG, like Vincent Teo from HGTV Test, telling you to calm down. The differences are negligible at best and all that bullshit. But we already knew that was coming from Vincent Teo. After all, he's been receiving VIP treatment from LG for God knows how many years. He's a fucking known chill. I mean, we, we knew that was coming. But that doesn't excuse the person, the everyday person that's being taught and trained to defend major corporations and literally going with it at the expense of their family members. The fact is, LG's largest campaign was the fact that they had G-Sync compatibility, which is a direct target towards PC gamers. Now, with this rolling back of full bandwidth HDMI 2.1, they're now basically telling those PC gamers, when those new RTX 3000 series graphics cards launch, screw you. We don't care. We're kind of HDMI 2.1, and that's good enough for you. That's misrepresenting your consumer base. And the fact of the matter is, it's a scam, it's a con, because you said you had HDMI 2.1. Look up HDMI 2.1, 48 gigabytes per second pops up. Look up HDMI 2.0, 18 gigabytes per second pops up. They are outlined very clearly as to what they recommend and what it should be to be called a certain technology. And LG hasn't delivered that. Now, you see HDTV tests claiming that, hey, you know, they were honest and open about it. Thank you for that. I mean, I think it's great. You know, but the reality is people shouldn't calm down like HDTV test says. People should be angry about this. There should be a backlash for lying to consumers about some shit that does matter. And for them to downplay the PC part is just unforgivable because G-Sync compatibility was pushed harder than anything else with the sale of the LG C10 and other 2020 lines from LG's OLED. And for them to sit there and try to damage control that just shows you the caliber of people they really are. The scummy salesmen, the snake oil fucking assholes that they really are. And it really pisses me off. And I use such abusive and coarse language because honestly speaking, their behavior is abusive and coarse. They're lying to you. They're manipulating you. And they get away with it. They get thousands of views, millions of views in a year. Uh, I mean, I mean, you could you could go up Accolade City with what they'll do for LG. But the reality is this isn't about jealousy. This isn't about YouTube status. This is about the fact that they have a large community and they're abusing it. The people that don't have a large community abuse that community. And it's all for the sake of one company every time. LG. LG, no matter what I do in the AV space, is the only thing that always gets a free pass. When Samsung messes up, they're the first to call them out for it. Samsung no longer supports uh, fucking HD uh, Blu-ray players or UHD Blu-ray players. Oh, shame on them. They're walking back HD or what it was, HDR 10 plus, right? That was the claim back then. And now we're seeing something similar happen with them. Oh, by the way, they do the same thing with Sony. When Sony fucks up, they're like, oh, Sony's in the wrong here. Yeah, as it turns out, Sony has problems in this area or in that area. And, and, and they'll do it with every single fucking brand. But LG, why? fucking why when lg is wrong you need to call them out on the shit i mean honestly speaking it's old it's beyond old lg is not the perfection that is claimed with all the garnered awards year after year and it needs to be discussed more freely and anyone that dare open their mouth and speak honestly about the lg brand get shit on and discredited through the wazoo I literally have channels trying to discredit me left and right. I can't even count all of them these days. I have Reddit forums and fucking AVS forums alike trying to discredit me left and right. Any forum they can get on to try to discredit the one guy that has sense enough and the information that's accurate to let you know LG's fucking up big. And that's the reality of the situation. I was the only one that reported when they had that fucking $100,000 fucking lawsuit in Australia and telling you that, yeah, they had a burn-in problem, and that was quite real. I'm the only one pointing out that the B-Series specifically has problems with burn-in. It's a known problem on that series. They downgrade that. I'm the only one now telling you that, hey, listen, LG walked back HDMI 2.1. It's a problem. I mean, at some point, we have to understand that LG as a company is going to continue to do whatever the fuck they want to do so long as you, the people that buy their products and pay them thousands of dollars, defend them. There is no incentive to get your act together when there's no punishment. There's no repercussion for bad choices and bad decisions. And that's what this is all about. Speak with your wallet. Speak with your mind. Tell them you want to be valued as a consumer. Don't tell them that downgrades from last year don't matter. Literally phrasing it like that. It doesn't matter, LG. Keep doing it. Keep downgrading our shit. Are you fucking serious, man? This is why, exactly why, TVs in 2020 are downgraded. 
This is why I'm so passionate. This is why I cuss so much. This is why I attack and expose so many fucking people. This shit right here. You're seeing it play out right now. Why Quantum TV is the number one brand in honesty and why he goes after every single person that dare defile a consumer's belief or purchasing power towards honesty. And, and, and that's that's what it is, man. I mean, I can't put it out any clearer than that. This is why I do what I do for shit exactly like this. LG fucked up. Nobody's going to come out and say, you fucked up. You're wrong. You're blatantly wrong. People need to sue you and get their money back. You need to pay them some sort of compensation for your lie and eat that shit because you're wrong, man. Like, what does this say to people who are making payments on this? Nobody cares, right? What does this say about people who were duped? Nobody cares, right? The only person that seems to give a fuck about any of you is me. And I just have a problem with that because, God damn it, you can make your fucking money sponsoring your videos, but you don't have to be a piece of shit about it. You know what I'm saying? And that's what this video is all about. But smack a like on this video if you understand where I'm coming from. I fucking had it. I'm ending the video right here.